guess what, Nick? To no one's surprise, there is another wide receiver headline in the news lately. There's been about 10 this offseason, each one bigger than the next, and I think you have the latest on this. Yep, so there's a piece out from ProFootballRumors.com by Rory Parks talking about the New York Jets getting themselves involved in the Debo Samuel sweepstakes. Uh, Parks writes, uh, the Jets have been connected to virtually every wide receiver who is, was, or could be on the trade block this offseason, and they are, quote, all in, unquote, on 49ers wide receiver Debo Samuel, as Tony Paulina Pro Football Network reports. New York currently holds a number four and number 10 overall selections in this week's draft, and GM Joe Douglas is prepared to use a number 10 choice as part of a package to acquire Samuel. Uh, Rich Semini of ESPN.com writes, Douglas would obviously prefer to acquire Samuel without giving up either of his top 10 picks, though that seems like a pipe dream. Uh, San Francisco is said to have zero intention of trading a dynamic weapon. Uh, and if Samini writes that and the 49ers do like to make Samuel available, the Jets expect them to ask for the moon. All right. So obviously the New York Jets, they're missing a number one elite wide receiver to surround themselves uh, to surround Zach Wilson. They did a lot of good things in free agency. I think getting CJ Uzama was a nice get. Uh, they went out and got the offensive lineman. Uh, I forget his name on the top of my head. Um, uh I'll have to look it up in a second, but they went out and got an offensive lineman. Uh, Tomlinson, the guard, uh, they brought yep. him in, a veteran offensive guard to surround uh, Zach Wilson a little bit. They got a nice little core at wide receivers with Elijah Moore, uh, Braxton Berrios, Corey Davis. So it seems they're only Lincoln missing Tomlinson. Lincoln Tomlinson. Thank you. The name was just failing me for a minute. Um, nice veteran guard to surround Wilson. Um, it seems they've done a lot of right things or they've surrounded Wilson with enough to be successful. All they're missing is a dynamic number one receiver and Samuel's that guy. I mean, you, this is a no brainer. They have to commit to go after Samuel, right? Oh yeah. And especially even if you burn that number 10 overall pick, I think it's well worth it to get uh, Samuel for that. Uh, I think Samuel is a dynamic playmaker. Obviously you have to uh, be privy to his demands that he would like to be used as a true wide receiver. He no longer wants to be a, a hybrid wide back as he proclaimed at the pro bowl, his new position that he made up. He's pivoted off of that very quickly. I guess once he realized it, how it could shorten his NFL career, yeah. but he's still a, a, a dynamic pass catcher, a true number one. He's a gigantic man. Uh, he was excellent at South Carolina. I saw him play in college multiple times uh being a Gamecock fan being in South Carolina so he, he's a great player and like South Carolina is excellent at developing wide receiver talent you know they had Sidney Rice uh and a new numerous numerous other guys Farrow Cooper uh Alshon Jeffrey all all kinds of great NFL talent so Samuel is the real deal it wasn't just like a one-off thing he's the real deal um, well, and, well, we talked about, we saw actually the Jets play live last year with Wilson. And I think you and I both walked away and we were like, you know, the Jets are making Zach Wilson do so much. Nothing is easy for him. There's no schemes. There's no uh, situations where it's just a short throw or a screen or, or a receiver is schemed open. Debo Samuel is good enough. He can line up anywhere. Obviously he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He can catch it wide, catch it out of the slot. He can beat corners one, one cleanly for big plays. He can catch screens. He can catch slants and turn them into big plays. So it just seems to be kind of the missing piece to that Jets offense. Oh, yeah. And like you said, uh, especially with young rookies, especially when they struggle, they may be coming from BYU, isn't necessarily going up against elite talent all the time. He could, he's not necessarily pro ready. You don't want to make them do everything on their own. They can't be the focal piece of that offense. Give them a guy, a true number one who's elite, take that pressure off of them, let them develop, and then when they get into their second contract, you can think about losing an elite receiver uh, to possibly you know, get yourself thinner around the, the rest of the ball. But don't, don't leave Zach Wilson out there to, to die and dry <laughs> up in the backfield. Like you can't you can't do that to them. So that's why I think Samuel uh going to the Jets here, even if it's for the number ten overall, is is a great uh deal. But people might say, Oh, is he really leaving? Is he really leaving? I I think yes, unless Kyle Shanahan does some crazy smoothing over of things, which I don't it seems more and more every day, like he is out of there. Uh, there's a video that just serviced on Twitter of uh, Samuel down. I believe he's in Miami or somewhere, but he's in a nightclub. Uh, someone buys a sign, and, and they walk through the bar with this sign up above their head, and it says, uh, 
Debo Samuel staying with the 49ers. Camera pans to Debo Samuel, and he's going like this. Like, he he does not agree with what the sign says at all. So more and more every day that passes, closer we get to the draft, all signs are pointing to uh, Debo Samuel getting traded from the 49ers. So, so has uh, anything ever good happened in Miami nightclub? I feel like every bad storyline for a player begins with as seen in a nightclub in Miami. Or riding jet skis on Miami Beach as the Le'Veon Bell story goes. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is, it seems, I agree, although San Francisco says they're not trading Samuel, I think he's on his way out. I think they're just trying to get as much as they can for him. And I think you and I both agree the number 10 overall pick Jets fans shouldn't really hold on to that. Trying to get a, a rookie receiver. You get a known good quality player, not just a quality player, first team, all pro player in Samuel, get him in the building now and find out how good Zach Wilson is. <laughs>